Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another afternoon of Trinity University Soccer. Today we've got the Trinity Tigers taking on the Pomona Pizza Sage Hens in some NCAA Division Three men's soccer early season. Trinity won on Friday, two late goals in the last seven minutes of the match. Saw the Tigers get a victory, 3-1. A goal in the 90th minute to clinch it from Louis Instro, absolute stunner. Pomona Pizza, they come in after a 3 0 loss here on Friday against St. Thomas. Maybe a little harsh on them. They certainly did well for large passages at the first half. They conceded a penalty early after an unfortunate mistake from the keeper. He came out, uh, didn't get the ball, got the player and gave away the penalty and that kind of put them on the back foot for the rest of the match. So I think the Sage Hens are better than that result reflected. Bay actually had a good game. He'll be in goal again. We'll run through just one change for the Sage Hens. Eukster's out for McHale. For McHale, that means that the lineup is Bay, Kajobin, Heilbronn, Auric, Donovan, Tiglin, Kish, Greenstein, McHale, Valoria, Namda. Is he starting 11? My player to watch today, I thought that Brendan Kish had a really good game for the Sage Hands on Friday. He was involved at the heart of a lot of really, really good things for the Sage Hands. He's a really useful pivot as they transition from defense into attack. And so he did really well on Friday. I thought he deserved something for his play. Did really well. Number 11. Brendan Kish, my player to watch for the Sage Hens for Trinity. They've made a few more changes. So we'll go through those real quick. Lynch starts in goal for the Tigers. He comes in for Wilman. Then we've got Blunk, Eubank, <laughs> Ajay. Instral is in for Anderson. Curry, Kane, Veloz, Downs, Mayfield, and Cam Smith are your starters for the Trinity Tigers. Play to watch. Well, I think it's Louis Instrol. He was involved a lot uh, coming off the bench. He scored that absolute stunner in the 90th minute. The coaches screaming at him to put it into the corner. He ended up putting it in the corner of the net. Really good work. Great goal. Exciting football from Louis Instrol. So we'll see what he can produce today. It is a warm one here. I'm just checking my weather. It says it's 93. That cannot be true because I just walked in the heat. It is 96. It says the hills are. We've got 40% humidity. And there's just not much wind here today. It is hot out there. Uh, Pomona Pizza did play in hotter weather on Friday. The Tigers, it definitely got cooler. They played the later game on Friday. So we'll talk about Pomona Pizza. They are part of the Claremont Colleges system. Of course, the other colleges in that system represented by Claremont Mud Scripps, coached by a former Trinity assistant coach at Carty. Now, a uh, notable alumni there, uh, Marilyn Ram Ramanovsky, the former women's 400 meter freestyle world record holder. And for folks from San Antonio, Greg Popovich used to coach the Pomona Pizza basketball team in the 80s. A good school. They've had pretty successful seasons. They were 21st in the D3 Directors' Cup last year. Of course, you may be familiar with their women's team who played here in the NCAAs last year, lost on a dramatic shootout there. Trinity, of course, San Antonio, Texas, they are hosting this one. You might know two of their uh, famous alumni, Gibney Hayes and Paul Leary. I won't, I guess I shouldn't say the name of the band they're in, but it ends with surfers, so, you know, you might know what I'm talking about. They were 19th in the Director's Cup. Coming in off a 3-1 win, I should say, over Elmhurst. Also, it should be an exciting one. I think there were some great passages from Pomona Pizza, great passages from Trinity. It's going to be Pomona Pizza in all blue. And Trinity in all whites. Number 11, a junior midfielder Teams get introduced. You can hear that happening behind me. 
Number 21, the senior midfielder from England, Jack Downs. Number 26, the first-year defender from Dallas, Texas, Luke Mayfield. Number 41, the first-year defender from Grand Cayman Islands, Cameron Smith. So Pomona Pits are there, the Sage Hens. Patrick, Mark Valerio, and Joseph Turini. Head coach of the Tigers, Paul McGinley, Trinity Tigers. The team's Ladies getting ready now. We'll get ready. We're going to pause for the anthem, and then we'll be with you for some soccer. We ask that you please run. Be loud, be so proud, we are here. We are about to get ready for this match. Tigers versus the Sage Hens here at a warm San Antonio, Texas. It's a little like a sauna out here. My name is Chris Hockman. Pleased to be with you for another game here this Sunday afternoon. Hope you're having a good Labor Day. Hope you're able to get some rest. As the substitutes come off. We are ready to go. The players just getting ready for the coin toss. Two of the captains. And we'll see what comes of that. Not a ton of advantage today. I think on Friday there was because in one half your keeper would have been staring into the sun. Today that's not really going to matter as much. But we'll find out who won the toss soon enough. Of course... There's your reminder. Two teams met in the second round last year. The women's teams, that is, in the second round of the NCAA Division Three Championships last year. Dramatic match that one was, going the distance. As Tigers head coach Paul McGinley in his 34th season with the Tigers gives his instructions. 541 wins for him. 41, 92, and 40. Moments away, Sage Hens and Tigers. The Sage Hens head coach is Mike Dieter. Was the assistant at UC Irvine. Did play in USISL third division. That is back in the day. That predates the USL. USL came out of the USISL. So it looks like Sage Hens will be going from left to right on your screen, which means Tigers will be going from right to left. And then we'll see who has the kickoff. That'll tell me who lost the toss. Because the losing team kicks off as we get ready. But it is a warm one today.
out here. And the Tigers are ready. The Sage Hens are ready. It looks like the Tigers will be kicking off. So, oh, the Sage Hens getting ready to kick off here. As the Tigers will huddle again. Tigers in all white. Sage Hens in all blue. Sage Hens will kick off, so that means the Trinity won the toss. Elected to go from right to left, so basically sides keep the benches on their side for the first half and the opposite side for the second. Trinity will star over their crest because they won a national championship. And Pomona Pitzer will kick us off. It's warm, it's dry, there's not much of a breeze. You might be able to check it every now and again when you see the, uh, the flags. The breeze is a little odd here. We are underway. Pomona Pitzer gets started, it goes out to Ulrich. Ulrich was involved a lot on Friday, really strong defensively. I expect the same from him again today. Handball controlled, and the keeper makes the save anyway, but it doesn't matter. As we'll get going again, Blunk goes out wide, goes to Cam Smith, played for the Cayman Islands under 15 side. Strong defense there from the Sage Hens, hoofs are clear. It'll be a throw in about halfway. Cam Smith's going to take it. Made his collegiate debut on Friday. Freshman. Trolls it down. Put out for a throw for the Sage Hens. And that's going to be taken by Brandon Kish, who was my man to watch with that very Bavarian captain's armband that he sports. It's a decent throw. The bounce is unkind. It might help Trinity out. That's going to be a throw for the Sage. No, for the Tigers. Good Marvin. Good talking, boys. Good talking. Thrown down the line. Headed on. Tigers just can't get control, so the Sage Hens will get the use of this. Good ball movement. Not a lot of support, though. Get it out wide. Swung into the box. There's a player coming onto it. Brings it down, but it's just too far away. Controls again. Trinity struggling to get it clear. They finally do. And now Kish back on the ball. Plays it in. Edge of the box. Seychen's looking for space to try and get something away. There's the shot. Blocked. It was a little too telegraphed. That one comes along the ground, and it's in! Pomona Pizza with an early lead. Really good strike along the grounds. Keeper can't get down quick enough. And Pomona Pizza have the lead. Let's have a look at this. Some good ball movement on the edge of the area. They're trying to make the space for that shot. It doesn't come off. And then the turn blocked. But it doesn't go clear enough. And he just hits it on the grounds. Gets it into the back of the net. And that's 1-0 Pomona Pizza. But that's what the ball movement will do to you. You got to move that ball around to create the space. Pomona Pizza have the lead. Thanks for all that ball movement. So let's see how Trinity responds here. As the Tigers swing it in. Keeper was scrambling back, cleared away by Kish. It's that Alex Greenstein, your goal scorer there. Just couldn't catch the number with all the turning. Sophomore forward, that's his second career goal. Out of Chevy Chase, Maryland. Was a regional champion in high school. Goes to Pizza College. So Tigers will look to build up here. So now pressure all on Trinity as they have to come back from a goal down. Sent out wide, but not wide enough. Easily dealt with by Pomona Pizza. They started really strongly on Friday, it's got to be said. They gave up that early penalty, but they did start well. Smith goes down the line. It's cut out by Pomona Pizza, and that'll be a throw-in. 
Yeah, they started well on Friday, but it just didn't come off for them. And goes out for a throw. Headed forward. Pomona Pizza getting control of it. And fouled. Yeah, quipped him in the back of the leg. And that happens. You're going to give away a foul. Unnecessary from Trinity. It is hard ground too, so those ones do hurt. Ethan Bay, who I thought had a good game, did give up three goals, but not a lot of it he could have done on those. The penalty was unfortunate, but I think he more than made up for it in the rest of the match. Goes into midfield. Hints of a nudge in the back there, not given. Players holding each other there, so you can't really call it. Slides in, but that's all ball. That's a good challenge. Doesn't end up working out, though. As the Tigers all work down the right. Goes forward, tries to play it in early. Just can't control it. And that is brave goalkeeping from Ethan Bay. Comes out and gets the ball. Referee comes in to make sure everything's okay. We'll have a look at this. This is a really good ball into the box. Comes in well. And he just can't control it enough. Really brave goalkeeping from Ethan Bay. To get control of that, it goes out for a Tigers throw. It was Hunter Kane on that run. Just couldn't control it just enough to get it there. A bit of players just kind of squabbling here for no reason. On a throw in of all things to be squabbling about. And so the referee was throwing Kane. Stays on his feet. Over to Smith. Smith cuts it back. Smith didn't really read that one, and so it's hoofed away. Blank will control it. Play it out for Eubank. Eubank skips midfield, headed forward, but Bay will easily take control of that. Was looking for Joseph Curry, senior midfielder from right here in San Antonio. Wanted to stay close to home. Goes out wide left. It's the pizza, Pomona Pizza, Sagehens working on it. It goes out for a throw. They've just ran out of space there. Throw in for Trinity. Sagehens back on it. Ulrich just can't get rid of it. Now a chance at Jay looking to go forward, but it's blocked by the Sagehens who will now have a chance to counter. But the ball's rough. It's going to go back, which is going to force Kish to go back and get it. Plays it into the middle. Ajay gets there, puts it out for a throw. And it looks like Kish is going to take. Kish throws it forward. Knotted on by Trinity, who can't get control of it, and so the Sage Hens will get usage. Referee had the whistle in his mouth. He was playing an advantage. Nothing to be gained there by hoofing it across and back. So they'll play the free kick back over here. That's good refereeing for me. Play that advantage. We'll see if anything will develop. And then quickly call it up when nothing does. I say Chen's back at it. Mikhail sends it back for Ulrich. Ulrich shaping to go long. Doesn't. Goes up the wing there. Now building something on the left. Cuts into two Tigers though. That's cut out. And Jay is all alone. There's no support. He's going to have to do this on his own. He makes a run. He's quick. Has a shot, but it's going to go wide. Well, Marshall. Shen Jay transferred from St. Edwards when their men's soccer program disbanded. It was a good run. Just let himself down with the shot. As we're back. Blocked by the Tigers. That'll be a throw. Been an entertaining opening few minutes here. 1-0 for the Sage Hens. Throw goes down the line. But the Tigers will gather it in. Instral plays it across. Deflected, but Ajay's going to get there. Ajay gets the ball. 
He's got support right. He sees the man. Shapes to cross. He's got to beat the defender to do so. He does. He's got to cut this back. That's going to be blocked, and it's a corner for Trinity. First corner of the day. We'll take another look at this one. It's good work to beat the player. Stays on his feet, and then really good defense there. That was Marvin Helbron. The defense had his first first collegiate start on Friday. Easily gathered there by Bay. And so Bay plays it quickly down the wing. Plays it forward but can't find the man there. Was trying to find Alex Greenstein. Scored the goal. Tigers on the ball. And they're slowing it down a little bit. Rushing has kind of caught them out. Good switch here looking for Cam Smith. But he can't get there. It's Kish who gathers it. It just didn't go far enough. Pressure coming from Trinity. Really beautiful footwork. Keeps the ball away. Great work from Nicholas McHale. He was the one change from Friday's loss. Ball goes back for Kish. Controls. Back for McHale. McHale sends it forward, but it just goes between the two Pomona Pizza players. And Jay now looks to turn. Was clipped, yes. So that's going to be a free kick for Trinity. Just outside the box, we'll have another look here. It's really the footwork from a Jay that does that because he brings the ball across his body. The defender's committed, goes in, clips the man. It's a foul. A Jay tried to keep his feet and keep running. But it'll be a free kick for the Tigers. Not super far out, but I don't know if you go for this direct. I see Jack Downs standing over that. Jack Downs is there. I also see Hunter Kane. Hunter Kane's left it, so it looks like Jack Downs is going to take this. He was the main free kick taker on Friday. Wasn't his best night. As he has a shot, hits it in the wall. We saw a lot of that on Friday. Blank. Blank plays it out for Smith on the left here. He's got a lot of space, so he'll swing it in far post. But Bay claims it right into his chest. Really good goalkeeping from Bay. He'll clutch that ball. He'll wait for time, and then he throws it, bypassing. Goes into the middle. Good turn there. He's got support. Goes back to McHale. So McHale on the ball. Goes across for Ulrich. Ulrich playing it back across for McHale. These two just playing it across. I'm never a big fan of playing it across your own goal like that. Just missed out. Decent effort, though, defensively from the Tigers. Playing a high press there. Pomona Pizza running forward. Switches it. Good switch there from Sean Donovan. But it's cut out well. He's just been clipped. Not a lot in that. And he's calling time off. So that's probably going to be a yellow. It's an early yellow there for Pomona Pizza. That one is going to go to Mateen Kazobin. Yeah, it's late. So the kind of the rules on that, careless, reckless, and excessive force. So if it's reckless, it's a yellow card. That was deemed a bit reckless. Mateen Kazobin, that's his second career yellow card. Just a little late, but a long way to go carrying a yellow. It's the Tigers miss out there. Sage Hens going again. Short ball finds Kishoban. Tigers appealing for a throw in. They will get it. That's decent defense there. You kick it into the player so you gain possession. Ajay gets rounds, but good challenge. No, not a good challenge, says the referee. And that'll be a free kick again for the Tigers. Wanting to play it quickly. Don't know if I love Kashobin standing over the ball there when he's already on a yellow. If he gets the ball kicked into him and they try to play it quickly, that could be a second yellow. You've got to be careful with that when you're already on a yellow. Don't mind people doing it, but when you're already on a yellow, you've really got to avoid doing that. So ball swung in near post, flicked on by Blank, but too much on it over the bar. And it'll be a goal kick. For Pomona Pizza, we'll have a replay of this one. It's a good ball. It finds Blank well. 
Doesn't need to jump too much for it, but he just doesn't jump enough. He, if he got up a bit higher, you want to get up and get on top of the ball for those kind of headers. When the ball's coming in at you like that, you get on top and you can do more with it. When you get under it, you just don't have as much control. And it just loops up like we saw there. Ball sent long down the line for the Sage Hens. And foul called there against Alex Greenstein. As Trinity switched the play to the right. Cam Green signaling that he's open. He wants a big switch. Played for Ad Jay. Good defensive work. But it's back to Ad Jay anyway. And Jay gets on the ball. Another strong run from a Jay. Good defensive block and it's cleared away. Tigers get back on it. Was Instral. Switches out for Cameron Smith. Smith just can't get there. It's headed away. Stays in. Pitzer will control. Ball comes off Smith. That's going to be a throw in for the Sage Hens. Thrown back for McHale. McHale goes to Bay. Bay plays it out wide for Kashobin. High press from the Tigers, putting the pressure on Ulrich, who clears it away, but only as far as the Trinity man. I believe that's Instrel. Instrel plays it for a J, who tries to flick it on, but it's just out of his reach. And now the Sage Hens can do something with this. Kenyon Neymar with the switch. Swung into the middle, I should say Nanda, not Neymar. <laughs> Appeals for a penalty, keeper saves it. Referee tells him to get up. Danger signs, and there's going to be a yellow card for descent, I'm presuming. Yes, a yellow card there for Rich. Let's have a look at this. You know what, there might be a case there. Looking at that again, he's come across, he hasn't got the ball. And if you don't get the ball, it means you've caught the man. I think there's a case there. Pomona Pizza might be aggrieved. We'll get another look at this. Yeah, absolutely. No ball there. I think that is a fair shout for a penalty from Pomona Pizza. Didn't get the ball at all. Nowhere near it. Trinity might have gotten away with one there. And a yellow card for descent to boot. Must have said something pretty bad to get a yellow from that far away. But yeah, I think there's a case there. Trinity may be lucky to not be 2-0 down. Because that, to me, was late getting across the man. Brought him down. Famously saw Fabio Grosso go down in the box against the Socceroos in 2006. The second round of the World Cup in that kind of scenario and win a penalty for Italy. So I've definitely seen him given. But that's going to be a talking point for this match for sure. Half an hour to go here in the first half. Pomona Pizza 1, Trinity 0. Chris Hockman with you for Tiger Network. The ball goes across. Pomona Pizza though, regathering. They'll just look to build something on the back. Ulrich, the man who got that descent yellow. A heavy touch. But it goes over to McHale. McHale plays it forward. On the run here, the Sage Hens. Really good work from Valoria. Running up the right. There's plenty of support there. They should really just be trying to get it in. They do now. The switch comes, finding Namda. He's in space. But he just holds onto it for too long. Should have got that shot away. Jay's there in support. Cam Smith with the ball. Smith sends it long, but it's an easy win for Ulrich. Ulrich you plays it down, you're it's right. controlled you're good, Sean, you're good. by the Sage Hens. Ah, cut we out, that's frustrating. And now Trinity back on the ball. Four, four. They'll work it up the right. A J switch to the left, he's calling for it. He is offside though. Or at least he looked offside from where I was standing. But the AR's right on the line, he's got a better view than I do. 
played forward. Trinity heads it down. They'll look to control. They do. Comes back. Instral. Instral on the ball. Plays it forward, but to no one in particular. It's cut out by the Sage Hens. And now the Sage Hens back on the ball. Chance to move the ball right out here to Namdar. Namdar on the ball. Plays it back for McHale. McHale goes back to Ulrich. Just building it up. They got the lead. They don't need to stress too much. 1-0 up. Lead's been holding up well. As the Sage Hens move it down the left. That's where a lot of good things have been happening. Great ball across into the space. No Trinity defense. They got Brendan Kish running right, but blocked by Trinity. He can't get there. It's a throw for the Sage Hens. We have some Tigers substitutions getting ready. Of course, you can only sub on your throw in college soccer, if you were wondering. Ball goes in. It's taken easily by the keeper, and we're back underway quickly for the Tigers. Good footwork. Sells the man out, and the Tigers will keep running. Cam Smith looks for Ajay. Ajay's going to use his speed. Gets around his man. Good ball. All ball. Yeah, beautiful sliding challenge. Really beautiful tackling that. That ball's out. It's going to be a throw in for Trinity. And they are going to make subs. Let's have a look at that challenge, though. That was stunning. Really beautiful defense here. Gets in well. All oh, ball. Really great defense there from Nicholas McHale. You got to be exactly right with that, especially when you've had that yellow. That was a beautiful challenge. And so Mies, fresh substitute, he gets the ball. That's put out for a throw. It was a big moment for Michael Mies on Friday. He started his comeback from injury. Swung into the middle. Tigers run out wide right. Veloz. And that is going to be called by the assistant. So there's a free kick here for Pomona Pizza to relieve that pressure. Swung across. It's gone a bit into no man's land. Kish has to come back to get it. And it's led to pressure which gives the ball back to Trinity. Instral. Instral plays it out wide right. Tigers with time. He's going to run into the space. Plays it forward. Looking for Mies. Mies controls it on his chest. Back for Ajay. Ajay's shot. It's too tame. Ulrich able to get to that. And the Sage Hens use some time. Get the ball away. Really good ball, that one. Up here for Namda. Namda sends it into the middle. We've now got Kish. Kish on the ball. Brenda Kish making a good run here. Going forward, taking the space the Tigers give him. He switches it. That may have just gotten away. No, controlled well there. Out wide. Played into the middle, but the Tigers will gather. And now the Tigers with some space and time to control. Going long. Is it going to be Mies? It's Mies trying to run onto it, but Ulrich's got plenty of time. Plays it back for Bay. Bay hoofs a queer. Remember, back passes can't be handled by the keeper, so things like that are going to happen sometimes. That's the Tigers back on the run. Cut inside, shots. Goes wide. Mies thinks the touch had a touch from the keeper. Let's have a look here. Shot, edge of the box. Oh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. That's a hard one. Trinity want to make subs. They will. Referee did call it before the free kick, before the goal kick was taken. And so we have John Connor coming in. And Will Powell, I thought Will Powell did pretty well yesterday. Likes playing rugby. Does Will Powell, junior defender from Bexley, England. And Auric will run this ball out. Plays it out wide. But the Tigers back on the ball again. Instral plays it forward for Mies. Back for Instral. Good ball up the line here. Tigers can do something crossed in. Blocked away by the defense. 
Yeah, you've got to go for that. I know the keeper's coming, but you never know. It's much easier to put that ball out for a corner than take the risk. So it'll be a corner here for the Tigers. We're going to look at this. Plenty of space, which gives him plenty of time to put it in. Yeah, good defense. Keeper is coming, but you never know if he spills it, which is how Trinity scored their opener on Friday. Ball swung in. Middle of the box. Gets a decent header on it. That was John Connor all fresh up. And we're going to have a water break. It is hot, like I've been saying. So water break here. 23rd minute. And ladies and gentlemen, there are water fountains and restrooms available in Meadows Pavilion. That's the building to your So it is 1 0 Pomona Pizza over Trinity here at Paul McGinley Field here on the campus of Trinity University, San Antonio, Texas. It's warm. I do not envy everybody out there. And Pomona Pizza are going to make a change after the water break. It's going to be Colin Eukster coming in for the Sage Hens. Everybody just covered in sweat. It is hot. It is a really hot one here today. And Gus Mailer is also going to be coming on. It's been an entertaining first 23-ish minutes. It's been a good one to watch. I hope you've been enjoying it at home as well. My name's Chris Hockman here for Tiger Network. Pleasure to bring you this game. It was a well-taken goal to open the, open the scoring here tonight for the Sage Hens. And they have the lead. I shouldn't say tonight. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> to open the scoring here. But you can see, I don't know if you, if you can pick it up, but as the players come close to me and the referees come close to me, I can tell they are drenched in sweat. And I believe both teams use uh, data tracking, uh, you know, undershirt to, uh, to track player performance. I'm sure it'll be useful today, tracking heart rates and even sweat levels everything can be tracked with those things these days it's phenomenal technology phenomenal age we live in including being able to bring you these games free and live so subs have been made for Pomona Pizza so we're ready to go just the referees checking that out Ulrich gets the goal kick plays it back across the face And they'll keep this run going. Mikhail, Mikhail playing it back. I like this. This is better from Pomona Pizza. I thought on Friday that they were kind of rushing things a bit much, maybe panicking a little. I like this. I like this patient, calm build-up. That's the difference today. That's why they're 1-0 up. They're just taking their time about it. They're not rushing. They're not panicking. It's really good. It's great to see. This is quality football from Pomona Pizza. They get that switch on looking for Kish. It's a really beautiful ball. Bounces perfectly to the feet of Kish. Kish plays it back. Just cut out. Now the Tigers get a J. He's quick. Passes across to Mies, who just can't control it. Keepers come, though. Plays it across. Keepers out. And that is in the back of the net. Mies plays it back. Beautiful cutback. And with the keeper out, Adam Knudsen puts it away for the goal. We'll have another look at this. It starts with Ajay speed, plays it across for Mies, who I thought had miscontrolled it here, but with Bay coming out, he's completely missed it, and it goes into the back of the net. Decent effort there, though. Got to give credit where credit's due. Colin Eukster just came in. First thing he has to do is try and clear that off the line. He does get a decent chunk of it, but it's hard when you can't use your hands. Well-worked goal for Trinity, and it's 1-1. So good goal for Knudsen, well worked. So, whole new ball game here. 1-1. One, one. 
I don't think it's going to change much about how either side's been playing, to be honest with you. They've both looked good. They've both looked like they're going for it. It's out for a throw for Pomona Pizza. So I don't think this will change much, to be honest with you. I don't think Pomona Pizza were content with one. They knew they needed two at least to get this. Yeah, Jay's quick. He's not that quick. Controlled by Kish. Good turn from Kish. That ball has gone out for a throw. Still plenty of time. 21 minutes to go here in the first half. We're definitely not done here. It's an interesting celebration. Calling for calm. Yeah, just comes in from behind. Another yellow. Yellows are flying here in big contrast to what we saw. Just came in, did catch him from behind. You do that, you're kind of asking for it. Alex Greenstein. But yeah, definitely contrast to how the game was refereed on Friday where, especially the Pomona Pizza game, no yellow cards in that Pomona Pizza St. Thomas match. And now three in the first half for Pomona Pizza. I think maybe one of them a little harsh. At the scent yellow, it's gonna be a corner here for Trinity. Paul McGinley accidentally runs into the assistant there. Quick apologies all around. It's gonna be a corner for the Tigers. Alan Knudsen getting close to a thousand minutes, by the way, the goal scorer. A thousand career minutes coming up for him. Oh, ball comes in for Meese at the far post. Former All-American. Maybe should have done better on that one. Didn't have a ton of time. We'll take another look at this replay as the ball's sent in. Yeah, he got free. I think you got to put that on target for me. If you get a free header like that, you have to put that on target, especially with the skill that Michael Meese has. That's a frustrating one. But we'll say there was that penalty shout that I thought Pomona Pizza had a fair case. Whoa, well skipped over there. Kish just can't get it. It's into a lot of traffic. He's kicked out. Referee has his the whistle to his mouth. He's has played advantage there. Clipped again. He's going to have to call that one. Pomona Pizza won a card for it. There might be a case for that because it's pretty similar to the first yellow that was issued to them. We'll have another look at this foul. Yeah, drags him down. Yeah, maybe not not as much in it as that first one, but a little cynical for me. I certainly, You certainly couldn't complain if a yellow was issued in that circumstance. If you're Trinity, I go back to it. They might have gotten away with the penalty. So they're going in far post for sure here. Into the mixer, deflected away by Trinity. They'll hit it clear. That looks like it's going to go out for a throw. Maybe no. Kept in. Pressure's on though. Pressure's coming. Jockeys it out. That is a throw. Player staying down though. I believe that is the same player that was fouled. Is that Alan Maguire? No. No, no. I'm going to Alex Greenstein. He is going to come out after that injury. Aiden McLennan coming on. Freshman midfielder from Bend, Oregon. Played, played tennis in high school at Summit. He was an all-state for tennis and soccer, which is pretty impressive. I am terrible at both sports. So, you know. Brennan Kish with the throw. Nice to see a player being sun safe. Lathered up that sunscreen. Always good to see. Slips off slap. Ball goes long. Ulrich with a good header. He did a lot of those on Friday. Really helped his team keep the score down. Bit of confusion there from the Tigers. But a Jay eventually gets it out wide right. Blocked. And he is calling a handball. There's a concern there. So he believes. So the, the thing they're talking about with the referee there is that it wasn't, an, it wasn't, 
it's honestly hard to tell from <laughs> where am I? So <laughs> the call is So the call is is that from the referees the ball was the hand was away. We're gonna look at this replay here. Oh yeah. Yeah, no that hand is absolutely away from the body. That is a that is a free kick. Yeah yeah. That hand that ball was Hand was away. So his argument was, if you saw him gesturing to the referee, pointing to his elbow close into his body, and there's the goal! <laughs> Off the free kick. No. Offside flag is up, actually. Or a goal kick. He's called something. Let's have another look here. Let's see if we can see what happened on the replay. Yeah, he's headed it in. Has me, but the AR... Has called, I think he's actually called a foul on that. Yeah, that one, hard to tell from the angle we're at, we're obviously not side on. So Mies will send this back again, same as the first goal, well saved by Bay. I thought Bay had a good game on Friday. That is going to go out for a goal kick. And we're going to have two subs for Pomona Pizza. So yeah, AR's called that offside and maybe he moved early. I'm really not sure. We're going to get another look here. This is the cutback. This is almost exactly how that first goal went down or it couldn't get to it. And it's blocked actually defensively there by Pomona Pizza. But that disallowed goal, that's going to stand up. Then look, I'm a firm believer there's no such thing as a makeup call. There's two wrong calls. Makeup calls don't exist. But, yeah, maybe that makes up for the non-call of the penalty in the uh, early stages of the first half. But hard for me to tell from my angle. The AR is right on the line and I'm not, so... As the ball goes up into the middle, headed on by Blank. Blank gathers possession again, just can't get around his man, just loses out. So to go back to the free kick, they, the Pomona Pizza complaint was that the body, the hand was in the body, and these days that is allowed. Um, but as we saw on the replay, his arm was out. The, the rule from IFAB is a quote unnatural silhouette for me that was an unnatural silhouette that's a fair call but in the end the goal's chalked off so 1-1 one, one. 15 minutes to play here in the first half controlled good work off the chest but just can't get around the two number 11s doing battle there played forward oh just goes through the legs that's unfortunate really beautiful footwork from trinity louis instrol who had that stunner yeah quips him going through He's saying he got the ball. I don't think Jack Eubank got the ball there. Pomona Pizza want to yellow for that. Let's have a look at the replay here. Yeah, absolutely no ball there. He's got he doesn't have a single leg to stand on. Just twisted and took him out coming through. Every single day that's a foul and maybe a little lucky to not get a yellow for that. Because those ones, that's pretty reckless for me. Turning like that, headed down. Looking to find the man, he goes to grounds. But they will come away with it, finds that Jay. He's quick, you gotta be careful, you can't let him do that. He does, that Jay's quick. Just can't find Michael Meese. And it goes back for Pomona Pizza again. That is an incredibly dangerous combination that's gonna be entertaining to watch this season. At Jay and Meese. Really working well together up front, really enjoying that. As the Tigers now work it on the right. Sells his man out. Plays it back to Instrel. Instrel. Playing forward. Can't get past Ulrich, who again stands tall. Really good work from Ulrich. Not quite frosted tips, but he stands out. That's a big deflection. It's going to stay in, though. Tigers play it back to the keeper. And they'll build up again out of the back. Played long, looking for Mies. Holds up a little bit, so Mies has to come back to get it, plays it out, stays in. Mies staying down, he has to get back up to get out of the way. And he is going to call the push in the back there. 
Mies isn't happy about it. He felt that he was fouled. I didn't see much in that, though. I think the push in the back, fair call. We'll have another look here at what happens. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Mies may have been shoved there by Ulrich. But I think they're both doing it. Mies goes down really late. If he wants that call, he can't stay on his feet for that long. Hanging those kind of situations. They're both doing it. You can't call one and not the other. As the Tigers get ready to make a sub. It's going to be Zach Anderson coming in. And I also see Finnegan Saunders out there getting ready to come in. But Pomona Pitts are now with possession cut out well. Really good work. By Knudsen. Instrul, Instrul plays forward for Mies. Mies sells his man out. There's a run there from Knudsen. Knudsen gets on it, holds up, which gives him the space for the pass to try and find a J. But he can't get on it. Blocked by a J into the face. If I believe that's Kish back there. It is. That's that same handball call as earlier. Basically the same thing as last time. Not a lot of intent there, but when you put your arm out like that, referees are going to call those these days. It's a handball. So we're going to have a free kick here for the Tigers. Opposite position to the first, to the one that was disallowed. We'll have another look here. See how they do this one. It's going to be swung in far post. Comes in for a J. Great save from Ethan Bay. Full stretch. Reaches up and saves it. Sends it over the bar. Let's get another look here. Swung in. Really well-timed run from a J. Heads it just too close. Couldn't get enough on it to put it either side of Ethan Bay. What a save. Another, another great performance from Ethan Bay in the net. Tigers go short with this free kick. Out wide. Swung in. Far post again. Shots. Straight to Ethan Bay, who climbs well and claims it, holds onto it. Throws to get the ball moving quickly. I don't know if that was the right decision. A lot of players back for the Sage Hen. So going quick may not have been the right move there, but nothing, nothing lost, so it's fine. Back for Bay. Had a really good game here, Bay. Five shots on target. He's only allowed one. Ball goes forward. Back for Ulrich. Ulrich sends it long, but too long. Though pressure's coming, got to go back to the keeper. Pressure's still coming. He's passed it and it's keep, kept in the field though. Tigers working it up the right. Mies can't turn, so has to go back. Playing it back, there's runners out wide left, finds his man, no. Can't keep it in, it's going to be a throw for Pomona Pizza. They urge for the match to be slowed down. We'll have a look at this earlier chance. Decent ball, but saved. Really good ball in, but just couldn't uh, just couldn't get it far enough away from the keeper. Ethan Bay clutches that one to his chest. He's done well. As the Tigers will come away after the throw. Mies. Mies plays it back for Knutson. Knudsen can't beat his defender. Really good work defensively. He turns. Mies can't turn his man. Header not controlled. And now he's out of position. Gets his... No, it is a handball. So a free kick here for Pomona Pizzer. I thought it might have been his rear end, but it might have been his rear end and his hand. As Pomona Pizzer will play it on. Brendan Kish on the ball here right in front of me. Kish on the ball, there's a player open, calling for the ball. That's not where he goes. The player back, switching out wide. The player was running forward, so he's got to come back to get it, which slows that down. Kish is in space out wide if they want to use that switch. I think they're looking for it now. Shobin makes that switch. Sorry, that was Hellbrun. Ball out wide right, out here in the corner, swung in. Diving header to clear it away. Tigers under pressure. Does that defensive work. Keeper comes out. Gets their dives on the ball. 
Eight minutes to play. 1-1 one, one here in the first half between Pomona Pizza and Trinity. It's both teams readying a pair of substitutions. Ball's gone long. Mies is going to get there. No. Oh, he does get there. Appeals for a free kick from both teams. Urges for both players to get up. A lot of players diving in here. Both benches unhappy there. And so now subs for both teams. So we've gone over those Trinity ones. Pomona Pizza, we've got Ty Jarrett. Nope, that's not who we have. We have Maury Miller coming in and Gus Colvin coming in as well. Changes made, we are ready. Referee blows time back on. Seven, Throw in for the Tigers. Gets around his man. Just not enough space to cross it in, but will win the corner for Trinity. Still plenty of time for someone to get a goal to go into the half. I would say into the sheds, but they don't really go into the sheds, they go into the shade. Swung in by Instral, headed on. Over the bar, that's the fresh man, John Connor. Sorry, not the fresh man, John Connor Rule. San Antonio, Texas, Johnson graduate. His brother Jordan played basketball at UAW, another San Antonio University. It's my wife's alma mater, actually. Cutouts. Now the Tigers go again. Knutson. Shapes to shoot, beats his man, shoots now. Another great save, a full stretch from Bay. But the Tigers still wanted another shot, but it goes over the bar. And so that'll be a goal kick for Pomona Pizza. Ethan Bay has been on fire this afternoon, making some stunning saves. Let's have another look at this one. That's a good work from Knutson. He shapes to shoot there and then beats his man by cutting inside. Another great save from Bay. Knows that he has the support, so doesn't need to do too much. Doesn't need to worry too much about where he parries it. Really good save. Good work from Knutson, too. He shapes for the shot, which sells out the defender, who goes in to block the shot, so then he cuts inside. It's beautiful work on the ball. That kind of ball movement where you swing it across your body is just so good to sell out your defenders. And the Tigers back on the ball here. Goes long, headed forward. No one there though. Tigers will regather. Knutson again. Knutson plays it out for Zach Anderson, but nothing coming of it. And Pomona Pitzer will go again. Looking to reset here. Knutson playing very high pressure. That's very calm from Ulrich. I like it. Pressure comes over from Trinity. Gets it away, but there's no one running onto it. So Ulrich back on the ball. Goes long. Controlled, maybe out of space, but put the pressure on so Trinity have to head it out. So it'll be a throw in just inside their own half for the Sagents. Goes back to Ulrich. Plenty of options for him. He switches it out for Halebron. halebron has got options as Kish wide. That's who he goes to. Kish plays it back. All the way back for Bay. Bay switches it out for Ulrich. Plenty of space. They've got Kish running wide. It's going to be Kish again. Kish has some space to run into. Attempted to pull him down. Referee plays advantage. Ball goes out wide for Leakin. It's going to be a Trinity throw. That was good work there from Kish to get away from his man. Throw deep in their own half for the Tigers. Oh, risky ball across the face. Keeper under pressure, very calm. He's not happy. Giving plenty of instructions, telling him to get it upfield. I can hear those yells from out here. Well cut out by Ulrich. And they'll go up the left. Ulrich get it, gonna get a nosebleed this hard up the pitch. In the attacking third there. 
Hailbrun. Hailbrun goes for Kish. Kish cuts inside and gets the ball back. Beautiful little triangle that. That's the stuff you practice on the training ground. Coming in late, but the Trinity defender gets the header away. Plays the ball back. A lot of high press, but Trinity get it away. Now a long ball. It's going to bounce favorably for Pomona Pitts. It stretches out. Puts it out for a throw, but it's decent. We'll have a look at this panicked clearance. Well, it's actually a pretty calm clearance, but it should never have been there. And we see the yell right away. <laughs> Get it away. The call from the goalkeeper, absolutely correct. Should never have been put under that kind of pressure. Really calm goalkeeping in the end, but he was put under a lot of pressure that he didn't need to be. Trinity benefited from a goalkeeping mistake on Friday. Nearly gifted one. That's a free kick for Pomona Pizza. As we're in the last two minutes, Trinity won, Pomona Pizza won. It has been an enthralling first 44 minutes. Hope you've been enjoying it. I know I have. Auric switches it across the middle. The Tigers working this forward. Pomona Pizza. Sage Chen's on the ball, playing it forward. It's going to drop well, all over him. No, referee disagrees. And the Tigers will get it away. Get something on it, but I don't know if it really adds any, any territory for the Tigers. Signaling where it is. I think it's at the steps, basically. Yeah, there we go. 47 seconds. I don't know if they're really going to go for it, but you may as well. You're only attacking third. They're not going to get another bite of the cherry, so... Ah, I don't love that. That goes straight up. Trinity clear it away. For Trinity, they're not really going to be interested in going for anything else. They're going to let that run. It's a throw in, though, not a goal kick. Referee signals. A throw deep in their own half. With not very much time, but you aren't going to be able to hold on to it. You are going to have to take it. Signals to go along with it. He goes up the line. Pomona Pitts are claiming nine, again. You've got to go eight, for it quickly. He's there. Seven, Keeper six, comes. He five, can hold on to it for four, six seconds without getting in trouble, so he will. Two, and that'll win the nine, half. So it's half time here at Paul McGinley Field. Trinity Tigers won. Pomona Pitts are Sage Hens won. It's been an enthralling seven, first seven, half. We'll see you back here in around 15 minutes for the second. Thanks for joining us.
Welcome back for the second half here. It's Trinity 1, Pomona Pizza 1. Let's go over some halftime stats. 14 shots to 2, 5 on goal to 1. That 1 on goal for Pomona Pizza ended up in the back of the net, which means Trinity made 0 saves. 4 saves for Ethan Bay and all of them. Pretty spectacular. He did really well in the Pomona Pizza net. 7 fouls apiece, 1 offside to 0, 5 corners to 0. But there's been 3 other cards to Pomona Pizza they're going to carry into the second half. Um, but zero for Trinity. I thought there could have been a couple there that just weren't given. So a minute to go before we get going again on the second half. It's been a really entertaining first half. It is hot. It is still hot. Let me check that weather for you. That may be a factor. 96, so it's gone up three degrees in that first half, but the feels like is 99. Humidity's gone down, everybody. Get excited for that. It's only 35% humidity today. It's warm. I mean, it gets warm in Claremont, though, so they're no strangers to warm temperatures either, but certainly not as hot as it is in San Antonio. It has been really hot here uh, for the past several weeks. Temperatures over 110. It's been real hot. And out there on that pitch in the sun. I'm, I'm fortunate. I'm in the shade here. You might be able to see me on the broadcast right there. That's me. So the buzzer goes. Players getting ready to kick off. It will be Trinity with the kickoff for the second half. So Pomona Pizza. In the all blue, they're going to be going from right to left. Trinity in the all white, so they're going to be going from left to right here for the second half. It'll be Trinity that has the kickoff since they won the toss. Breeze picking up a little bit. You can see the flags on the scoreboard waving, but the breeze can be odd here. It's, it's in a weird place. Paul McGinley Field and the wind does some weird stuff. So the the flags on top of the scoreboard are blowing, but the uh, corner flag at the far side, not so much. So it's blowing down the Trinity defensive end, but not so much the uh, Pomona Pizza defensive end. So we'll see how that plays out. But this is the way Trinity like to attack. They like to attack the goal on the right side of your screen in the second half. So that means they won the toss. We also know they won the toss because they're kicking off the second half. Losers kick off the first half. The losers of the toss. So that's how that works. If you were ever wondering, you just pick what side you're on. Fun fact. But thanks for joining us. Pleasure to have you with us. Wherever you're joining us from, I'm sure we've got a lot of folks in Claremont with us or at least attached to Claremont course, Claremont Mud Scripps, now coached by former Trinity assistant coach Carty. We're underway here for the Let's second go, half. Go, Trinity Tigers kick us off. Pomona Pits of the Sage Hens. And as far as anyone has ever figured out, they are the only sporting team referred to as the Sage Hens in the whole world. We haven't found any other Sage Hens. So if you're looking for a nickname to start your new team, say chance. Now they're away. Still on it. Really great run here. There's space left, but he can't see the pass. And now they'll work at Trinity on the left. Good high press here from the say chance. But Trinity just pass the ball around, work it out. Mies given the start here for the second half with that J. That was an exciting combination. Trinity turn. But Pomona Pizza come away with it. Ball played back. Pomona Pizza on the ball. Halebrun. Halebrun plays it out wide right. Donovan. Donovan and Halebrun linking up well here. Turns inside at Jay and puts it out back. Ball switch long here for Donovan. Sean Donovan on the ball up the left. Nutmegs his man. 
Tempted turn, just gets a toe on the ball, and now Trinity trying to come away with it. AJ has to stay on side, but he fails to do so. He tried really good offside trap there from Pomona Pizza. AJ thought he checked his run, but he didn't. As the ball comes back for Donovan. Donovan for Ulrich. Ulrich and Donovan again. Not a lot of pressure coming from Trinity, so they'll be content to pass it around. That's Mikhail. Mikhail to Ulrich. No pressure from Trinity, so they'll just pass it around. Donovan. Donovan beats one. Can he beat the second? No. Puts it out for a throw, so it's a throw for Trinity. A ball thrown in. Shapes to go long, but instead plays it across. Does Blank. Blank finds Eubank. Eubank plays it back for the keeper. Keeper playing forward. Goes long over the top, looking for Mies perhaps. Mies does get there. Plays it out for Curry. Curry going for one of these slow switches across. Knutson just can't get there. It'll be a throw for Pomona Pizza. So Pomona Pizza with the throw. See the crowd condensed there under the shade of the trees. Can't blame them in the heat. Kish trying to flick the ball, trying to go for a Rabona. Does end up with the ball though. Pomona Pizza keeping possession well here. The heavy touch doesn't work out. And Trinity will go again. AJ is quick, but he's not that quick. Pomona Pizza still on it. Goes back for Ulrich. Say Chen's working it around here. Like to see some more movement in terms of width here. Cuts inside his man. Good opportunity. Plays it back. He's in space to shoot. He can't get away. Passes it on. Controlled well. The shot is blocked and claimed by the keeper. That was a big chance there for Pomona Pizza. Perhaps should be 2-1. Both teams pretty unhappy with the play there. Trying to release the ball. We'll have another look here. Well blocked, the ball came out, controlled well, but not a good shot. Yeah, you can see his frustration with his effort. Now both benches yelling as the goalkeeper tries to release it. So if you're wondering, they do have to let them release. Good run here from Ajay. Cuts it back, there's a late running Knuts and he goes down, absolutely not. Right decision from the referee. He slid in, good run, up the right, crossed in but straight to Ulrich, who clears it away. It was decent work from John Connor Rule. Siding challenge, but the ball still stays with Trinity. John Connor Rule on the ball. Gets rounds. Is able to play the pass. Touches heavy and it goes out. We'll have a look here at this run from AJ. Just uses his speed to beat his man, plays it back. John Connor Rule a little late in there. Sorry, not John Connor Rule, Adam Knutson. There was a little hint, but I don't think there was anything there. That's all ball for me. Right decision from the referee to not give that one. Of course, we did have Pomona Pizza have shouts for a penalty in the first half that I thought was a penalty. So perhaps a little fortunate for Trinity to not be 2-1 down. Switch comes out wide here. Finds Valoria. Valoria looking to beat his man. He's forced back. I think he was trying to find Valoria again. Mies. Mies on the ball. Ajay's running left. Ajay has to slow up his run to receive the ball. Mies continues his run. Ajay has a shot. Bay with another good save. That's a really good save. He keeps his body behind. It doesn't need to go at full stretch. But he keeps his body there. So if he misses it with his hands, it'll come off his body or his face. Then he keeps the ball in front of him at all times. Gets the ball, gathers it back up. Really good goalkeeping from Bay again. A fifth brilliant save from him. As Pomona Pizza now can build something with a good switch here. That's Donovan. Donovan goes to Ulrich. 
Ulrich plays across to McHale. McHale on the ball, back to Ulrich. Taking their time about this. There's patience. There's no need to rush anything. Opportunities will come. Played in, but Ajay read it and cleared it. Knutson high boot. And so it's an indirect free kick for the high boot. He says to roll it back. We'll have another look here. Just an unfortunate bit of control. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely a high boot. So indirect free kick means you can't score directly from it. Not that you're going to score from there anyway. So we get back underway. With Ulrich. He's shaped to go down the left. Instead goes right. Controlled by the Sage Hens here. Wide right. Goes under the tree. Cuts inside one. Can't cut inside the second. Good stretch from Trinity. And they'll regather possession here and make a run. At Jay. Ajay marked heavily, really strong defense to hold him up. And now the Seychens again looking to go down the right, but it's easily read. It's going to go out for a Seychens throw, but in their own half. So throw in here for the Seychens. Not too far in their own half. Throwing up the line. Tigers will get the first touch. Seychens try and control, but they can't. So now Trinity. Back on the ball with Meese. Ajay making a run if they can see him. Attempted through ball cleared away in the end by Ulrich. Still up in the air. Someone's got to get control of that third ball. It's going to be the Seychens. So Pomona Pizza back on the ball. That comes out for Donovan. Donovan. Still on the ball. Taking the space afforded. Little soft touch. Ball goes into the middle. But Pomona Pitts still in control. Good opportunity here. Great ball. No. Tigers just stay inside. And they'll clear it away. Ulrich does what he's done all weekend. Heads it strongly. There's Valoria who just couldn't get control. Ball's back in quickly from the Tigers. Going forward for Meese, but he's offside. <laughs> offside flag raised against Michael Meese on that play. That's the second time he's been caught offside. First time was this about goal. Trinity just not timing their runs today. Got Donovan calling for it wide here. Oh, terrible work. And Jay with a chance. Great work from Ulrich to stand tall. Doesn't let Ajay get past. And saves, saves Pomona Pizza there because that was a bad restart. Pressure from Ajay. But it'll go out to Kish. Kish on the wide right. Calling for a switch. They stay down that side. Trinity keep gather possession. Played forward now. Those two pacey runners. Through ball finds Michael Meese. Meese on the run. Looks to cut in. And that's our Jay down in back play. Collided with a defender. It's a corner for Trinity. Big appeals from the Trinity bench. We'll have a look here, see if we can catch anything on the replay. I don't think we will. Oh, yeah, they collided, but honestly, they both they both made it. They both caused us. We're going to have a look here again. Yeah, if anything, Ed Jay runs into him. I don't think that's a penalty at all. He runs into his own player. He runs into the defender. That's a That's a foul created by... For me, that foul was created by a J. That contact was created by a J. I think that's the right decision from the referee to not give that. He's run into the defender. He's kicked the defender.
And so right call for me to not give that a penalty. Referee having a discussion with the AR during this. As the players will come over and get some water, it's very hot. We'll have another look here. Yeah, I think I think that is absolutely a Jay initiating that all the way. He goes down, and I think the fall may have knocked his head, but that that contact absolutely initiated by a Jay. No penalty. I think that's the right decision. Right decision for me to not give a penalty. And Jay's the one initiating that contact. And so no penalty. Right call. And even if it was a call, it would have been because everything started outside the box. So, But yeah, right call for me. And Jay initiates the contact. No foul, no penalty. Please get water. This won't be the water break. It's too early in the half for that. Players getting some instructions from the coaches on both sides. We'll get going again. The referee's going over to talk to the far side AR as well here. Not sure what this one is about. Maybe just reassessing something they need to keep an eye on for the rest of the match. An interesting discussion between the referee and the AR. I believe that's Ad Jay substituted out. So Ad Jay will be out. Jack Downs replaces him. While Ad Jay gets some treatment. But again, for me, he initiated that. So no penalty is the right call. And a corner kick. The end result here for Trinity. Ball swung into the penalty spot. Headed on. And Bay comes up with it. Decent effort. Mies was there to try and pick up anything that spilled. But Bay makes the save. And Pomona pits it back on the ball. Going forward. But to no one in particular. That will allow the Tigers to reset again. We'll have a look at this corner again. Onto the penalty spot. This will be a better angle than the one that I have. Headed on. Deflected. But a good save from Bay. Again, keeps it in front of him. Really good. Really good stuff as Meese makes a good turn. He's in space. He shoots. Saved by Bay again. Stretching up over his body. Making the save. Cross comes in. It's over everybody. That might even go out for a throw unless they can keep it in. Rule can't get there. It's going to be a throw. So we'll have a look at this one. From Meese, does well to control it with his chest. He's got the space. Delicate shot with his side foot, but what a save from Bay. Leaping in at full stretch. Read it every step of the way. Again, great goalkeeping from Bay. Pomona Pitta with a throw deep in their own half. Looking for the tall man, but loses out. So Trinity get the second ball. And they look to switch. Rule. Rule plays back for the keeper. Good high pressure forces that. Blunk. Blunk puts on the switch. Headed on. It's going to need a good run. Good work from Ulrich. He's strong. And he uses it. Bays there. It's deflected. It's a throw for Pomona Pizza. In their own half. Both benches pretty happy with that. As the throw comes. Pomona Pizza thrown down the line. And a foul, yes. That's going to be a free kick for the Sage Hens. So a Sage Hens free kick. Swung, switching the field. Which, of course, forces the defence to switch. 
sent in long. There is a height advantage, but the ball goes over the man. Perfectly for the Trinity player. That was Will Powell. I think looking for Meese, but couldn't find him. Yeah, Meese frustrated. He wants it to his feet. And so the Seichen's back on the ball. Controlling it around the back. Mikhail. Mikhail to Ulrich. Ulrich to Powell. Donovan. Donovan back to, to Ulrich. Ulrich on the ball. No pressure, but he will go back to Bay. Trinity want them pushing up. So he goes long. Headed on by Trinity, but into a contest. Really good work by Donovan. All balls is the referee from Will Powell. Goes back to the keeper. Sent long looking for Meese. Blank heads it on. Controlled now by the Tigers on the left. Looking long, probably for Meese. Goes over his head, goes over the defender's head. Ulrich controls perfectly. Meese goes down in the box looking for something, but I think he was leaning into his defender rather than the other way around. And the Sage Hens with a chance to recycle at the back. Pressure from Meese. Fouls his man. And that's going to be a yellow card for Meese. He's calling him over. There's a yellow card, Michael Meese. I think it might already be his second of the year. Well done, well, it looks like we're going to have had Jay ready to get back on the park. For Trinity, they're also going to bring in Jesus Veloz. So now Pomona Pizza moving it around. Donovan back for Auric. Auric goes long. I think looking for Kish. The head is rough from Trinity. They've got to go back. Kish puts the pressure on and gets possession. Good work there from Kish. Played back and it's in the back of the net. Beautiful pass from Kish. And the Sage Hens have the lead again. Beautiful work all rounds. We're going to look at this one again. Just really beautiful work from Kish to steal possession. He's got the man open over the top of the keeper who's just left stranded. Seichens have the lead again. That was Namda. So again, Trinity chasing the game. Really good work there from Kish. He's played well in both games this weekend. Rule on the ball for the Tigers. Puts a switch on. It's not good enough. It's Kish who made that goal, who heads it down. Plays it back. Kish again. Blocked by Ajay. Ajay plays it back while he's on the ground. Good turn from the Tigers. Plays in wide right. Keepers come. Hasn't got there and it goes wide. Decent effort from Jesus Veloz. Really good turn here that makes the space for the pass and a beautiful pass to Jesus Veloz. Does the right thing. Turn this way and switch it. 
Keeper came, put him off the shot, and Jesus Veloz sends it wide. Senior defender from Dallas. But it was a good run. Good work from from Bay to come. Clips it over him, but just not enough. Goes out for a goal kick. Together, tighter together. Psychology tighter major. Tighter. Plays piano and guitar. Does Jesus Veloz. His brother Osvaldo, older brother, played soccer here as well. So continuing the family tradition. Michael Mee is trying to get onto this. Ball played back for Bayer. Jay coming. Forces the mistake. Well, not really a mistake. Just forces him to play it out. Forces him to panic. Thrown in by Veloz. Veloz for Mies. Mies will look to play it to Veloz. Does so. Back out for Veloz. Veloz on the ball to Mies. He's going to play the free kick. I think Trinity might have liked advantage there, but they weren't doing a ton with it, so ceremonial free kick here for the Tigers. Looks like Jack Eubank is going to swing this one in. Numbers in the box, so maybe Pomona Pizza has a height advantage here. They do have some tall defenders. Swung in. Play is moving maybe a little early. Goes far post to rule. Now that's a back pass. That is a back pass. You rarely see these called. That's a back pass. So this is going to be one of my favorite things in football. Indirect free kick in the box. We'll have a look here. Let's see. Pomona don't think it's a back pass. Let's have a look here. Yeah, he swung at it, but I don't think he got it. And even if he did get it, you'd have to argue it's intentional. It has to be an intentional back pass in the box. I'm not convinced that was. Because he swung at it, and it maybe came off his foot. But there's no intent. So I just don't think you can give that as an intentional back pass in the box. So a couple rules with this one. It's a non thing. It doesn't come up a lot. So a couple of criteria it has to meet. It has to come off the foot. So if it comes off your shin, not a back pass. Did come off the foot, but there has to be intent. I just don't think there was. So it's indirect. Can't score directly from it, but they score anyway. Mies puts it away. But for mine, not, not an indirect free kick in the box because it wasn't intentional. We'll take a look at this. It's a beautifully set up play. I think everybody does everything right defensively. They're on the line, they rush out. It's kind of like if you've watched field hockey, a field hockey penalty corner, and he comes out and he gets it. So we're back in level or two. So starting to get feisty now. That's going to be a yellow card. Have another look here. Don't know if we've got a great angle on it. Oh, here we go. Rules just trying to let it run. Comes out. Yeah, he does push him in the back with that cement right there too. That's never fun. That can be risky. I think one of those yellow, that's one of those yellow cards where you're just trying to stamp on the game before it starts getting out of hand. So, you know, but for me, yeah, this game's going to get fiery, I think. And to be honest, I don't think that should have been an indirect free kick in the box. So he headed it back. Again, you're allowed to head it. Has to be off your foot. Has to be intentional. Was off the foot. I don't think it was intentional at all. He was trying to clear it. I understand why Trinity appealed. Because let's be honest, most players don't understand the laws of the game. But I don't think there was intent in that. I think Pomona Pitts are hard done by again. That was Valoria with the yellow card. And Jay gets it over the top of the keeper. And Pomona Pizza now behind for the first time today. Just a minute after scoring the equaliser. Trinity 
have the lead. It's parried away by Bay. A decent save, but it comes straight into the path of Ajay, who took home the rebound. 3 2 Trinity. You could argue that's the first mistake Bay's made, but I think that would be pretty harsh to say that, well, he should have got it into the corner, he should have got it further away, you can't parry it in. Obviously, you never like parrying it into play like that, especially with, with a play like AJ, whose speed has been shown all afternoon. But I think you're asking a lot of Ethan Bay to do anything else for that. So Trinity now, 3-2 in front. Ajay gets the goal that he probably deserves. He's been working hard. And now Pomona Pizza having to chase the game. I don't know if we're done yet. 3-2. We might not be done. But that's deflating for Pomona Pizza. Ajay brings it down, but he doesn't get to any space to shoot it. He's frustrated with himself. Keeper comes and gets it. And he plays it. Out to the man. Now in that situation, he can bring it into the box and pick it up. Because he's the one in control of it. But yeah, for me, I'm, I'm still stuck on that indirect free kick. I think that was the wrong call. I think Pomona Pizza, probably two opportunities, two goals that they could be aggrieved about. One score by Trinity, one they weren't given a penalty in the first half than I thought they should have had. As the ball goes long. Really beautiful ball into the corner. Defender's done well as well as Cameron Smith. Cayman Islands Youth International. Ball goes out. A great idea to shoot there, I think. It's blocked. They come out now. Ajay can't get on it, but everybody's offside for Pomona Pizza. That's going to go out for a throw, though, not a goal kick. So I think Trinity maybe should have shown a little more urgency there. So it is a throw-in for the Tigers. But Pomona Pizza will get that second ball. Tigers clear it away. Ajay will look to turn. He can't do it on the first ball. There's a rush coming. Well defended by the Tigers. Sorry, by Pomona Pizza. Mies wanted that one. Auric. Auric making a long run here. Plays it in the middle. Ulrich did well because he drew the defenders and now a really good switch here. There's space. Played into the middle. Crossed it. Saved. And that's going to be a corner for the Sage Hens. Getting another look at this. Really good stuff. That switch really opens up the field. And it forces this defender forward, which then allows the space for that shot. Really good defense. I'm pointing at my screen like any of you can see what I'm pointing at. I don't have a telestrator, so we can't. Can't draw those little circles. Ball swung in. Rule heads it. Oh, he should have taken a touch there. That hits the tree. And we have the water break. So water break here in the second half. Game has been turned on its head. It is Trinity 3, Pomona Pizza 2. But again, the indirect free kick that led to the second should never have been called a back pass for me. Because there was absolutely no intent on that. And then unlucky on that third. Good save initially from Bay, but he's put it back into play right in front with someone as strong a runner as Ed Jay to put it away for the third. And Jay comes over. Speaking to his coach, he says he didn't think it was passed back to him. I'm inclined to agree. I don't think that was a back pass either myself. Harshly done by it. And so it's 3-2. Here, yeah, I don't know if we're done. I don't think these five goals are enough right now. You can see all the players in the drinks break all going straight to the shade, drinking their water in the shade. You know, take what you can get. It's hot even in the shade, but it's definitely cooler in the shade than the heat, the, the sun.
Perfect. And see Paul McGinley giving instructions there. It is an opportunity that these water breaks give you. They do give you the chance to issue some instructions, make some tactical tweaks. Really interested to see how Pomona Pizza respond. They've been they've been good. They've played well. I think 3-2 is a little harsh on them. Again, we'll come back to that indirect free kick. I just don't think it meant that second criteria of being intentional. So I don't think that should have been an indirect free kick. I thought Pomona Pizza should have had a penalty in the first half. It wasn't given. And so certainly, certainly right to feel aggrieved if you're Pomona Pizza right now. While that indirect free kick wasn't the goal that gave Trinity the lead, it is the difference. So, but heads up for the Sage Hens. Definitely still in this match. And Sage Hens send it long. Spoke with Paul McGinley, Trinity coach, before the match. He felt that the heat might give the Tigers an advantage. Obviously, that'll come more into play, I think, as the game goes on. So as we get into those final 15, 10 minutes, will be where we see if it is. But a chance here for the Tigers working it in the box. Veloz gets around his man, sends it back. Pomona Pizza do well to keep that in. Instral, who scored that absolute banger in Friday. Appeals for a handball. I don't think there were hands anywhere near that as it goes out for a throw. For the Tigers, just inside the Sage Hands half. Up the line, a J. A J on the ball. Can't really use his speed. Can use his footwork here. Flicks it over. Back to a J. Is offside. That's what I thought. Continued his run. He was in front of the defender when he flicked the ball. So if he continued his run, he was still going to be in front of the defender. That's exactly what happened. And he's offside, so it gives Pomona Pitts a possession. We'll have another look here. It's a nice little play, though, that he does to get it through. But, yeah, he was in front of the defender when he played the ball. So he's going to be in front of the defender when he's played back to him. Easy decision for the assistant. As we're back live... Sage Hens, forced backwards, still forced backwards. Still on the ball, I'd like to see him pass it. There we go, switch to Ulrich. Ulrich on the ball. Ulrich making the move forward. Goes in, good switch. Maybe a little too much on it to handle and he can't control that. So it's a throw for the Tigers in their own half. Not sure if I get why you'd hold the ball and throw it away when you're chasing the game, but I'm sure there's something to it. The throw in for the Tigers. A J looking to turn, can't do so. And Pomona Pizza now, come away with it again. Back to Ulrich. Ulrich has support. Kazobin making a run left, instead he goes right. Say chance. Going down the right. And control. Played back. Hey. Hey. on this. That's a foul. Free kick for the Sage Hens. Not too far out. You could go direct here. Maybe a little too much of an angle on it for the direct free kick. But it's an interesting discussion to be had. Oryx coming to stand over it. Have another look here. Yeah. So free kick edge of the area. Just a little outside. Auric takes it over this hop. Keeper gets a touch. That's a corner kick for the Sage Hens. Good work here. Substitution for Pomona Pizza. So 
So that's Maury Miller coming in. If you're wondering, he has to. He does have to step onto the field. He can't just walk up the sideline and take the corner. You're not a substitute. You're not the sub in until you step onto the pitch. So that's why he had to do that run that way. Oryx height really paying off their shot over the bar. The right choice for me. Decent effort, but that was a good corner. It was a really good seat. Another change here for the Sage Hens. Let's have a look at this corner again. Miller sends it in just out of the reach of Ulrich, but then wide open. Gus Marler maybe should have done better. Came at him a little bit. He was wide open, so he could have taken a touch, brought it down with his chest and maybe had a better shot, but then the Trinity defense would have been on him. He had that space, but you do have to make the most of those opportunities when they come. Kish heads it down. Smith cuts it out. Played back in. Instrel. Knutson. Knutson on the ball. Turns well. Jay's out there wide left, but he loses his footing and he can't get there. And so it's a throw for the Sage Hens. Still plenty of time though, 17 and a half minutes. They only need one to send it to extra time. Ball thrown in, but Trinity will regather. Veloz. Veloz on the ball, cleared away by the Tigers. Sage Hens moving it wide left. Played into the middle, but into the middle of everybody, which allows the Tigers to regather Knutson. Knutson goes out wide, but the man's offside again. Ajay just can't time his runs. Now, there's no need for Ajay to mistime his runs like that. He might be the quickest man on the field right now. But he just keeps mistiming those runs. It's early days. We'll get another look at this. Yep, definitely offside. Great work from Orich. Orich knows Ajay is making that run. And you see him take that little jump forward that catches him offside. Great work. Ajay needs to have better presence. He needs to be watching up the line for that. Headed away by Rule. Pomona Pizza Control. Back with the Sage Hens here. Greenstein. Greenstein plays it across. Valoria. Valoria sends it out wide right for Kish. Kish playing it back now. Back over to Kish again. Just passing it around. I don't think Trinity will mind too much. But they've got to be careful they don't overcommit to these players. Good header, vital header from Jesus Veloz. That's going to be a throw for Pomona Pizza as Adam Leakin comes in. Freshman midfielder from Mill Valley, California. And Michael Meese comes in for the Tigers. Thrown in by the Sage Hens. Up the line here. Sage Hens put it out for a throw. In the Trinity half. Thrown in really good work, staying with possession. Plays it out wide, too wide for Mies. It's a decent effort from Joseph Curry. Senior midfielder from right here in San Antonio. Economics major. Ball's back in though. Auric just slowly walking with. Ball goes out wide for Kish. Kish making the one left. Cut out well by Trinity. It's too easy to read. And now there's space for a J. Mies in the middle as well. Adam, central, Adam. Come central, well Adam. defended by Pomona Cross comes in looking for Mies. But Bay will come out and grab it. He's done well again. I know that he's conceded three again, but Bay has done really well for Pomona Pizza. Really good goalkeeper for me. Gone past 75 career saves in this one. He goes to Pomona. Trinity will cut this out. 
They're going to put it out for a throw. Just couldn't control it. Thrown in quickly by Pomona Pizza. But a little too quick. And the Trinity will control and hoof it up. And Jay's in space. Heads it on for Mies. Mies heads it down. But Ulrich does well to cut inside. Enters the Trinity half. Cut out well by Instrul. Jay's on side, but he can't. Yes, he can. He gathers it in. Mies wanted him to play it back. He's all on his own. He has no support. He's surrounded by four. Now he plays it back. That's what he probably should have done earlier. Swung back into the box. Trying to find Mies. It's gone a little too wide. It's going to run away from him, and it's going to be a throw for Pomona Pizza. Thrown in by Kasobin. Ulrich. Sending it up the middle. There's a runner there. Just can't find him. Cut out by Blank. Blank plays it on to Instral. Instral for Veloz. Veloz beats his man. Who'd committed. Mies is out wide. Finds Mies. He's onside. Mies and Veloz leaking up well. Mies goes back to Instral. Instral loses out. Pomona Pizza come away with it. Opportunity here on the counter. Good ball forward. It's the right idea. Trying to find Greenstein. He scored already today. But just doesn't come out. And Trinity just passing it around the back. It's clock counting down. Time starting to be a concern, but still plenty of time. You only need one. If you promote a pizza. Smith chips it on. Ajay has to check his run. He's a little frustrated. Smith passes to nobody. Ajay frustrated. It's out for a throw. And so two changes. Sorry, three changes. Tiglon comes on for Pomona Pizza. Zach Anderson on for the Tigers. And also, Kayon Namda comes on for the Sagehens. Freshman midfielder from Irvine, California. Has a twin brother, Ryan. They ran a program together that taught math and soccer to underserved kids. That earned him a Congressional Gold Medal, which is a pretty incredible achievement to have. I don't know if there's any player I've ever said that about before. So, Keon Namda. And he's just a freshman. He got that when he was in high school. Incredible stuff. Always nice to see a fellow representative of Twin Nation as well. Ball goes wide, but I think it's going to go too wide. That's a throw. For the Tigers. <laughs> Tigers will make a say, will make a change. It's going to be Shannon Jay coming off. And Hunter Kane coming on, junior midfielder from Canty, Texas. Big fan of Didier Drogba. And some confusion here. So there's a th row for Trinity. Amidst all that confusion, we're back to the Trinity throw. I'm not sure what was going on there. AR on this side was signaling for the Seichen sub, I think. Free kick. For the Seychens, yeah, yeah, they're going to make him take it back. Going, going, well, the Seychens, that's going to be Sean Donovan. Senior midfielder of Moraga, California. Made the all academic team. This is physical and good stuff from Pomona Pizza, that's what they need. 
They need to be playing this high press now. They need to be getting the ball back early. Meese comes all the way back to gather that. It means there's no one up for the Tigers. Not that that'll matter too much. Meese gets on it, plays it out wide. That's Cam Smith. Smith on the ball, plays it into the middle, but he just can't get it past the defender. Smith with a high press, gets the ball, sends it into the middle only to Ulrich. Heads it clear. And now Pomona Pitts are looking to control. Oh, they've lost out. Not some great defense, but good work from Bay to rescue that. So Pomona Pizza back on the ball. Trinity readying a sub. It's going to be. Can't actually tell. Can't see the number. Goes wide for Veloz. Veloz on the ball. Runners there. He has to cut it back. Cuts inside his defender. Cuts it back for the man. Blocked. Decent effort there. From Zach Anderson. Fresh off the bench. Out of Knudsen coming on for Trinity. And for the Sage Hens. And the other change for the Sage Hens is Gus Colvin. Freshman defender out of Birmingham. Alabama. He played for the Birmingham Legion Academy, which you might be familiar with if you're a USL fan. Of course, Birmingham Legion do play San Antonio FC here in San Antonio. Crossed it in the corner on into the six-yard box. A bit messy. Goes out for a goal kick. Colin Eukster coming in. Sophomore defender from Grand Rapids of Michigan. He goes to Pomona. Have another look at this corner. Sent onto the edge of the six-yard box. Decent effort to get onto the end of that after the attempted clearance from Ulrich. But it's sent out. And so it's a goal kick for Pomona Pizza sent long. That's what they need to do now. They need to control it as well, and they do. So Pomona Pitts are on the ball. Ulrich. Ulrich played across. Eukster just on, but he can't get the pass. Lost out there, did Mies, but he gets the ball back. Mies plays it for Instral. There's a runner coming wide right. Finds Veloz, who is that runner. Veloz plays it on. Hunter Kane's there, doesn't have much support. First touch is heavy. That allows Bay to come out and make the save and clearance. Tigers making a sub. It's going to be Luke Mayfield coming in. Freshman defender from Dallas scored his first goal on his debut on Friday. So we just got another look at that save. Back to live action. Five and a half minutes to play here. Tigers wrestling it in the corner. Assistant referee calls a free kick for Trinity. Yes, for Trinity. Even though the Trinity players seem to be arguing, which may have given himself away. <laughs> A free kick for the Tigers. Swung in. Far post, headed down. Headed across the face. Looks to find Peter Blank at the near post. Knutson headed it across. Neither Meese nor Blank could get on the end of that. And it goes out for a goal kick here. That could have iced it. I don't think Pomona Pitts are out of this one yet. 3-2. 
See, I believe I see Dr. Tinkle walking around the back there. And Pomona pits it. Look at the control. High press. Pressure from Mies. Still pressure from me. Switches the field, which will allow them to get away. There's a call for a switch. It's not really spotted Auric. Auric will play it on. Good ball wide left here. Tigers defending in numbers. Auric back on the ball. Auric plays it into the middle. Played back. Valoria forced to go back again. McHale, McHale in for Valoria. Valoria playing it just out to the man in space. Now wide right. Staying out. There's men in the box. Swung in. He gets off his man, but the head has gone to the side. Saved by the keeper. A good save. That is a corner. Good work from Pomona Pitts. A really well worked play here. That pass out. And then swung in. There's numbers in the box. Really smart to head it. I thought at first he hadn't got there. But really smart header, runs onto it, but a good save from the keeper who was nearly out of position. A change. There's just absolute confusion on this substitution. Referee has just completely lost it on the substitution of all things to mess up a substitution. Just while the referees always have the prerogative to say no and make them wait. That was a mess for a substitution. Here comes the corner. Blocked again. That's going to be another corner. No. That is unbelievable. Oh, that was a clear deflection off of Mies. Let's have another look at it. I just don't see any way that didn't deflect off of Mies. He's going to argue. I guess there was a double deflection that I just can't see and our camera's not on that side of the pitch. But for me, that was a corner. Odd decision, that one. Swung away. The goal kick, if in doubt. Goal kick's always the least controversial decision. Headed back, Mies. Plays it back for Smith. Call is to play to the corner. That was the call last on Friday. And they scored a goal. So <laughs> Plays it out wide to Rule. Rule this time does go to the corner. And maybe he shouldn't have because he's absolutely lost out. That's a foul. That's going to be a yellow card to Rule. Yeah, it's a professional foul. It's a rugby challenge. It might even be a high tackle in rugby. So Bay's on the ball. He's got a minute and a half to do something here. Goes long. Tigers need to keep possession. Smith plays it long, looking for Mies. Mies gets on the ball. Mies turns his man. Running for the corner. Mies looking to just control this in the corner for one minute. Referee's going to have to run over there because there's going to be a lot going on. Tigers controlling this in the corner. That's a corner. Pomona Pitts, I don't like it. Yeah, they're going to play the short corner, obviously. Obviously, the way you do this is you just tap it in and you play the corner here. Still, still in. Hold oh, the ball's got to be over the line. That's still in. Mies loses out. That's a foul. They have to be quick. They've only got 20 seconds to work this down. Swung in. There's just not enough numbers forward for the Sage Hands. The Tigers will hoof it out. It's come back off the tree, so the Sage Hands will play it in. Trinity appealing. They thought that that ball should have been played back. Heads it with a second to go. 
but they've run out of time. It's all over. Trinity three, Sage Hens two. Thrilling match. Sage Hens a little hard done by for me. Probably could have had a penalty. They opened the score in good ball movement, created the space to allow Greenstein to score before Knutson put it back at half time. At the 21st minute, Mies passed it around the keeper, allowed Knutson to hit it home from empty space. It was a goal disallowed. In the 16, with 16 minutes to go in the half, Mies had a goal disallowed for offside. 29 minutes to go in the second half. Pomona Pizza took the lead again. Namda goal with a great, great pass from Kish to set him up. 2-1. Trinity equalized three minutes later. A little harsh on the call. It was an indirect free kick in the box after the referee ruled that there was an intentional back pass to the goalkeeper. That was a call I didn't agree with. I didn't think it was an intentional back pass because I didn't think it was intentional. But that allowed Mies to score. Perfectly played indirect free kick in the box. They're fun to watch. And then a minute after that, Ajay tapped home to rebound. Ethan Bay had a great game. And I thought he was a little hard done by on that one. So a little hard done by on the indirect free kick of the box. I didn't think it was an intentional back pass. And then the uh, the tap home a minute later. I thought Bay, thought Bay did really well to get to it. Made a good save. But unfortunately, Shen Ajay just there running onto it. Did well, but just couldn't get the win. So it moves Trinity to 2 and 0. It moves Pomona Pizza to 0 and 2. We'll go over some of the stats. 24 shots to 12, 11 shots on goal to 5, 3 saves to 8. All 8 of those saves from Bay were stunning. 13 fouls to 9, 5 offsides. Almost all of those were to Shenna J. And then 9 corners to 3. Checks out for Pomona Pizza their next match. They are going back home. First home game of the season. they got their home opener. They're going to play Vanguard. That's their next match. Next match for Trinity is right here on Friday night. They're going to host the University of Texas, Dallas. But before that, on Tiger Network, we have another game. Thursday. Thursday, Hudson Simmons are going to play Whitman. Thursday night at 7 o'clock. We hope to see you there. Uh, Trinity, they'll be back Friday at 7.30. Thank you very much. I'm Chris Ockman on behalf of all of us here at Trinity University. Thank you for joining us. We hope we'll see you next week. Have a great Labor Day weekend. Enjoy yourself. Bye.